And um, I got to the summit just as a storm was coming in. This is looking down on the Pakistan side. This is Concordia. This is Broad Peak. Um, but the, but the, I got to the summit about four minutes before my turnaround time. In four minutes, I turned right around and went back down. Um, when I got to the top, I, I, didn't, I was glad to not have to go up any more, you know, because I, I, was, uh, I was tired. Um, but I didn't get a sense of euphoria, like, oh, gosh, I got to the summit, hooray, hooray. To frankly, the, 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 the emotion that I was feeling at the time more was I was terrified uh, because I knew that most accidents happen on the descent when people are tired and I was pretty tired and um, and I knew that I had a long ways to go still before I got back down and so I headed back down and I ran into Greg Child he was probably 20 minutes behind me on his way up still with uh, Greg Mortimer um, our fourth member Phil Urschler had turned around maybe 300 meters from the top because it was a very courageous decision that he made. He felt he was moving too slowly and wouldn't be able to get up to the summit and back down again with enough energy to be safe. And so he turned around and when I got back to the tent, he was there and he had prepared hot water and, and gave me a nice big cup of tea. And I was, it was a very welcome sight for me to, to, to get some help from him when I got down. That night at this big storm that was just blowing in when we got to the top, came in in its full fury and we fought our way down um, uh, off the mountain. It took us two days. Um, and when we got to the bottom, um, our Pakistani um, members uh, cooked this big feast for us. And, uh, uh, and that was when, uh, when, when I knew that I was gonna be safe and I could see that we were dropping out of the clouds to the glacier below and people were coming up uh, to help us. That, you know, this was my third time on the mountain. I probably spent over a year of my life on the mountain trying to climb it. That this overwhelming emotion of, 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 of all the built up stress, all of the, the, the time, you know, that I put into it. And maybe especially because on 86 I had two great friends, you know, who when I was on the mountain the second time in 87, disappeared on Mount Logan. And I, what I forgot to mention when I got to the summit, another friend of mine had given me a couple of palm crosses. And, uh, and when I got to the summit, I pulled them out of my down suit and let them go, you know, kind of in remembrance of my friends. And just all of those thoughts, you know, came to me as I saw that I was going to be safe. And I, I, it was an overwhelming feeling, and I just started crying and, and just kind of just was uncontrollably sobbing for a while until I finished the last bit of the descent, you know, to, uh, to where here, you know, our friends uh, could help us. <laughs>